Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel 8 Framework tutorial. This is our part number 13. Inside this video, we will discuss about what are slots and component. This is basically the continuation of previous videos. And also guys, if you are looking at the blog articles of CakePHP 4, CodeIgniter 4, MySQL, Node.js, then you can visit this blogging website. Now if I back to browser, this is our blogging website. Inside this blogging website, you will find several interesting articles. According to categories, we have Codeigniter 4, WordPress, KeekPHP 4, MySQL and many more. In the last day, we have added a new section inside this blogging website that is create an article section. So here we can see that by the help of this create an article section actually we can post a guest post inside this blogging website. As simple as that we need to pass author details as well as our blog details. It will go for the approval at the admin end and if admin approves that post then it will appear on the website. So here we have the different different categories and inside each categories we have very interesting blog articles. Back to the topic. So in the last two videos we had discussed all about the complete concept of components in Laravel. Now inside this video we will discuss about what are slots. Go to the next tab. So slots are the part of component where we put extra content and work on it. Additionally, we can pass inner attributes. What I mean, in the last video, we had seen that by the help of make component command, actually the command is php artisan make component and next we need to pass a class name. So in the last video, we have created message component. After creating it, as we had seen that it has created two different files. One at the app folder that is for the controller part of message and the second the view layout. While calling this component, we have a simple syntax that is x hyphen and the component class name. So here we have created message so we need to write something x hyphen message. And also we had seen and discussed all about passing attributes. So as we can see that while actually loading our component or calling component we have used empty tag. In HTML we have empty tag and non-empty tag. The contents which we pass inside a tag it is mainly called non-empty tag but here we are not passing any data. So let's say that if suppose we have passed some data here, we have passed data and we have closed our component. So as we can see that this is opening of component tag, closing of component tag and here we have some data. So this is non-empty tag. So when we pass this type of data inside component tag, so how can we receive inside our controller part of this message component and how can we work with that? So inside this video, we will discuss about this concept. If I back to editor, so as we can see that inside the two layout files called products.player.php, here we have called also inside this about.play.php, here we have called all about a component tag. These are empty tags because we didn't pass any content inside it. So what I will do, let's say that we are going to create another component class and work with some contents or let's say the slots part. So back to terminal, press Ctrl C to cancel out the development server. Let's say php artisan make component and next we need to pass our component class name. So as simple for now 
we are taking a lot here. Now if I press enter, component created successfully. So after creating this component class, when we go inside this editor, press Ctrl B to get the left sidebar. Next we need to go first inside this app folder. Here we will see inside this view components and here is the controller part of this alert component as well as inside resources folder. Here we have resources folder inside this views directory. Here we have components folder and here is the layout file. So let's say that first of all what I will do if we need to call this alert component inside this products.blade.php what I will do let's say that we are going to make comment of this line and to load simply we need to pass x hyphen alert and if we want to make empty tag we need to pass forward slash otherwise we can pass our data here so let's say that inside this video we are going to make this tag as non-empty let's say we have some data after writing the data inside this tag how can we receive inside our layout file because as we know that alert component have a layout so press ctrl b go inside this resources folder views folder alert blade.php because this is the content part get rid of this comment line now to receive all the contents what we have actually passed inside this tag or inside this component tag we need to use a slot which is a variable in Laravel so how can I write let's simply inside this s3 tag this is curly pairs to print any value and simply we need to write slot here after writing this slot variable it is going to automatically pick all the contents what we have actually defined inside this component tag so right now this is the content so by the help of this slot variable we are going to receive all these values now if we save so if we want to call this products.play.php go to web.php and here is the route so if I copy go to browser and first we need to start our development server so php artisan serve and let's say that this is all about products and here as we can see that we have some data and this is the data actually what we have passed inside our component tag now if i write something comma here let's say that this is all about we have for the products page Again what I will do go inside this alert sorry inside this about.blade.php because the same component we are going to load actually here as well so s3 or instead of s3 let's say x hyphen alert this is another content comma let's say about us page now if we save to actually open this layout we need to open a route so this will be something about hyphen us duplicate this tab instead of products let's say about hyphen us now as we can see that the same actually component tag has been loaded into two different layouts the first layout is something the products page if I reload this page once more this is for the products page and this is for the about us page now this is the use of slots in component if we want to pass some data so to receive data inside component layout file we need to use a slot variable this is for the extra content now let's say that if we want to pass any like inner attributes here how can we actually get access over this layout file what I mean let's say we are going to define another div and inside this we have some more data more data or instead of let's say what I will see if we define let's say x hyphen slot 
we have created a tag which is for the inner attributes of slot. So x hyphen slot, let's say that this is name equal to product. So here, let's say name equal to simply title here. And inside this, if we pass the page name, let's say product page. And if I get rid of this page name from here, save these changes. Now the same thing, if I repeat for this about.play.php, get rid of this page name from here and define uh, another tag something x hyphen slot and this is about page now if we save as we know these all are the contents of this tag means component tag so we will receive by the help of this slot variable so if we save reload this page and we are getting an error so if I back to editor, I think something we are missing here. So here we have the products, means the inner layout, what we have defined inside this component tag. And the missing thing is that actually we didn't pass the name attribute. So while defining any inner attributes inside this slot, keep in mind we need to pass the name attribute as well. This is the name attribute indicates that what is the name of the slot means this is inner slot so let's say that we have title and here as well we have defined the title now if you go to the browser reload this page and as we can see that this is another content what we are getting actually inside this product space this is another content and also if you go inside this product page reload that we have some data and this is what actually we have written here now one more thing you can see that these are the contents like what we had defined inside this inner slots are not rendering yet also if you go inside this about.play.php this is the content of our inner slots which is not rendering so how can we receive these values as well like here we have our inner slot where we have provided a name attribute like inside this for about view file as well as products view file so to receive this value inside this component layout file here we need to write if i go here let's say something we need to write h4 tag let's say page type and if we need to take the value of inner slots define curly pairs to print the value and here what the value actually we are passing inside this name attribute named as title we need to write actually here as a title variable that's it this slot variable indicates what all the contents we have defined instead of inner slots but when we write these have a variable it means it is first find all about inner slots with the name attribute now if we save all these changes go here reload this products page and as we can see that page type equal to product page also if we go inside this about.blade.php when we have typed all about this title variable it will go inside this layout means where we have called this component tag it will search all about this inner slot and find the title value it means the name attribute whose name value equal to title so if we save go here to about us page and as we can see that page type equal to about and page type equal to product page now after getting this slot space concept you are wondering that where we should use this concept if suppose you are making your custom alert box or custom message center for the success for the warning and for let's say for the error messages so fully customizable like message box we can create by the help of this component based concept by the help of this dynamicity nature where we can control each value of the slots which value of the component we can work with that so this is all about in the next video we will see all about inline component so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day